Professor. How good to see you. I'm afraid I might be a bit early. No, you're not at all early, Langley, dear. Well, don't you look beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you, my dear. I'll, uh, I'll just put the tree... And so the next day, there was a sign. No dancing between the stacks. <laughs> oh, Langley, I had no idea there was a hijink going on at the library. Oh, oh look who's here, my oh. favorite buddy. Oh, look <laughs> at that little present. Come on, sweetheart. Just say you for the present. Well, of course, Santa's going to bring Laura's presents tomorrow. Oh, yes. well, she's going to get something from Aunt Phoebe tonight. Oh, here we go, sweetheart. Right here. She's gonna oh, look at that pretty dress. Oh, I got red with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, you're look welcome. I thought she would enjoy doing this and using yourself while we exchange our gifts. Yes, yes that's you bet. Well, uh, why don't you get something from under the tree, Langley, and start us off? All you, right. You play Santa. I swear that tree has grown since we've been here. Uh, now, here comes Santa, Santa, Santa. Oh, good. Ooh, from me to you, and Merry Christmas. Oh. TV. Thank you, dear. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, what do we have here? Oh, oh a lovely hand mirror. Well, I thought it might be nice on your dressing table. Uh, yes, yes, it's just perfect. Thank you. Oh. Very nice. My turn. And to you, sweetheart. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. Oh, oh Daddy, oh. all right. This, number. this is hot. If it doesn't <laughs> fit, Myrtle said she'd be glad to attend Thank you, it. Daddy. Oh, oh this welcome, is beautiful. <laughs> now, I think it's time for Langley to get a gift. Okay, oh. I'll get it. No, 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 no. I have it right here. As a matter of fact, I think that I may as well give you both yours at the same time. Oh, good. There you go. More. <laughs> what is this? Is this money? <laughs> Aunt Phoebe, this is a round-trip ticket to Paris. Yes. I've got one, too. Exactly. But I really don't think that uh, Hillary should go to Europe all alone, do you? And no. wouldn't you really love to have your father go with you, dear? Yes! Would I? Yes! Yes! I don't believe this! Oh, Aunt Phoebe! Oh, wow, that's incredible! Thank you! You're so welcome. Sorry, but I just can't accept this. Oh, why not? I remember so well you're telling me that you'd always long to visit all the capitals of Europe. I know, Dad. Paris is the perfect beginning. Please, Dad. Yes, please go. It'll be so much fun. We'll have so much fun in Paris. Well, nevertheless, my uh, dear. Nevertheless. I'm going to leave it to you to persuade your father, darling. In the meantime, will you excuse me a moment? I have to go speak to Mrs. Valentine about when we'll have our meal. Uh, yes, I want to speak to Mrs. Valentine, too, about what to give Laura for dinner. What's going on? What do you mean? I have a definite feeling that there's a third ticket to Paris in your name. Is that true? Oh, Brooke, darling, please don't give away my plan. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I just don't know if it's going to work. Oh, it just has to. Besides, neither Hillary nor Langley can speak a single word of French. So my being there would be very much to their advantage, don't you think? Mm. You will? Aunt Phoebe! Aunt Phoebe, Daddy just said he would go with us. Glad you listened to reason. Well, naturally, I was I was overwhelmed by your generosity. Uh, well, not so overwhelmed. I hope that you can't thank me uh, properly. Well, I should indeed thank you quite properly. Merry Christmas, Phoebe.